Hi everyone, it's Mayumi here from StampingGeek.com. Welcome to my channel. This is the box that we're going to make today. This is a retired pattern paper and it is the Summer Smooches DSP. And you can fit at least four small sizes of chocolates down here. Closes up just like so. This paper is the Retrofresh DSP and it can fit a snack pack biscuit as well. You can also add another one and when you close this one it's a bit bulky but it closes up pretty well. We're going to use the same pattern paper and this piece measures 9 inches by 6 inches. So on your 9 inch you're going to score this at 1, 4, 5, and 8 inches. Turn this around making your 6 inch on the top and you're going to score this at 1 and 5. Then we're going to fold all the score lines using our bone folder. Then you're going to use your paper snips and we're cutting up all the way to the score line. And I like to cut a little bit of that paper on the tab. It doesn't matter how much or how less that you get, it's just that Every time I make a box, there's always a paper sticking out, and I don't like that. Then we're cutting out some papers as well on the tab. Then you're going to use your snail adhesive and add it to the tabs and close this one. Okay, and then it closes up just like so. So for the stamping, you're going to need a Whisper White cardstock. And the stamp sets that we're going to use is Hearts of Flutter and Lots of Thanks. We're using Thanks and this one here, okay? So I'm just going to grab my Real Red ink pad. Ink this one up. Then stamp it. And for the banner, we're going to use a Coastal Cabana ink pad. Then I'm going to use this framelits from the Hearts of Flutter, and I'm just going to use my Big Shot to cut these, and I'll be right back. We're going to use our Word Window Punch. Cut that out. Then use a modern label punch with a real red cardstock. And for the hearts, we're going to use the same cardstock, which is real red, and punch out two small hearts. I think I'm going to have another one. And 
so we're going to use our snail adhesive. Place it right here on the left. And then use your snail again and attach this to the real red cardstock. We're going to use our Stampin' Dimensionals. Okay, place this one right here. And this one. So here's your box and I also went ahead and try adding a window. This is the Quattro Fancy Specialty DSP and this is just a plain window sheet that I use and opens up like so. Same thing with this one but it turns out I kind of like this design even better but it's up to you. There's a lot of potential making this box and I hope you guys enjoyed this. Don't forget to check out my website. I am going to post all the measurements and the supplies for this project. Again, stay crafty as always. Stay safe and I'll see you guys next time on my next video. Thank you for watching. Bye!